All right, so thanks for coming back. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, I wanted to create this piece kind of that, about what I was feeling in terms of haunted by the frame, um, just being haunted by creating images and video and, and just kind of storytelling. I had all this footage that I wanted to use and I just didn't know what, what to do with it. And I started looking at it and I said, well, why don't I make this kind of more artsy piece? And that's, um, that's what came out. And if you haven't seen it, you know, I'm going to link it and you can check it out. So for those of you who watched the video, I did this transition effect and uh, it was a quick and simple. And I want to show it to you right now on how I did it and how I captured it. So the technique that I ended up using for this transition effect was or is free lensing. And if you haven't heard about free lensing, it's when you take your lens off of your camera and you hold it next to the um, really close to the camera and you're able to manipulate and adjust the lens so that light leaks in from all sides and it creates an interesting um, visual effect. If you, uh, if you know about it from photography, you'll notice, you'll know that a lot of photographers have used it to create these interesting effects. So how I started was I took my camera and what you really need to know and what you need to know is that you need a camera with an interchangeable lens and you need to go into your menus and select record without lens. For each camera, there's uh, the setting is in a different place. You may not be able to do it. Most cameras you can. So check out your, check out your manual and see where that setting lives. And then you can just turn it on and you're good to go. So what I like to do is leave the lens cap on my lens because I only want the light leaks because that's going to be a library. It's going to be an effect for, I'm going to use it for a library. So as I'm recording, I'm moving my lens around, allowing light to leak in and out of the lens. It, oh, sorry, in and out of the sensor. And what that's doing is creating all these interesting color patterns, arcs, and all these different things, as you can see right here. What I do have to mention is that if you're going to use this as a transition, you want to be able to have a point in this video or in that piece that you're recording that's all white. So as you're moving your lens around, take the lens completely off, allow all that light to get in, and then put it back on and then keep on playing with it. This way you'll have a complete lit frame so that you can transition into. So in Premiere, what I like to do is I like to bring the clip in um, just to in, into my Premiere library and I like to put it on top of the two clips that I want to transition to and from. And in my case, it was transitioning from my last clip, my last video clip to my title sequence. And this one, this one was very simple because I had a white, I used a white uh, typeface and that was it. So what you're going to do is you're going to mark off where that completely white frame is. And you're going to, you're going to position that point at the end of the clip that you're transitioning from. So that first clip with the uh, effect clip selected, you're going to go into your uh, effects panel and you're going to select screen as your blending mode. So what's going to happen is that it's just going to screen over top of the clip that's below. And what you want to do is you want to apply, and if you want to do it easy, and I did it easy, is I applied a default transition at the beginning of my effect clip, and then I put a default transition at the end of my footage clip. There you have it. That's all I did to create that transition sequence. Hopefully you guys can, you know, use this technique for something else. Just be creative with it and figure out and just play and figure out what you want to do. And maybe, you know, you'll get an idea as you're working it because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with these abstract kind of light clips until really I shot it and I said, well, maybe I can use it for something. So. So if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe uh, to my channel. Every subscriber counts. Every subscriber helps. I'm just trying to help everybody out there with the things that I know, whether it's video tips, photography tips, lighting tips, um, you know, business, uh, the creative business, uh, and you know, all that good stuff. So let's make 2019 great uh, for you and for me. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.